We've made it to episode 16 and we're still dealing with the bulls of the birds and particularly bulls shape of carnivorous birds. Two sessions ago we spoke that there were about a million different named species of animals in the animal kingdom and 90% of them are arthropods or insects and things like that. We now look at some of the birds that prey on some of the 10% of those anim animals, namely mammals, the fish and the reptiles. Again, there are great overlaps. There are several birds from this group that also eat insects. In general, those birds are divided into surface skimming, aerial fishing, pursuit fishing, scavenging and raptorial. We'll start with surface skimming. These birds have a lower mandible that is longer than its upper mandible. This aids them while flying low across the surface of the water. When they fly with their lower mandible just skimming the surface of the water, hoping to scoop up small fish that are surface feeding. Aerial fishing. The kingfisher is the main species that occupies this group. They have a spear-like bill which is used for catching the fish. Either they hover, hover above the water or they fish from a branch above the water. The distance above the water they launch from is directly proportional to the size of the bird. That found very interesting. Pursuit fishing. The main group of birds that pursuit fishes are the cormorants, the grebes and the penguin. Both the cormorant and the penguin have very wide bills with a hooked end. They dive from swimming on the surface of the water into the water and pursue the fish. The darter also forms part of the pursuit feeders. They have a long slender bill that they use for spearing their fish. Picorvorous birds. These birds feed on fish that they catch by diving into the water. Most cases they have long strong beaks which are curved with a curved tip or serrated ridges to prevent the prey from escaping. This group includes birds like the seagulls, the albatross. In other cases such as pelicans they have flexible pouches beneath their beak where they can store the fish once they have been caught along with a big gulp of water. Then we have the scavengers. Scavenging birds are opportunist birds that eat from dead carcasses of animals or other birds. Their bills are quite large with a pronounced hook that helps to tear the flesh from the body. They often have no head feathers around the base of the bill or even on the entire head as in some vultures. Other scavengers could be the crow, the marable stork. Raptorial feeders. Certain meat-eating birds such as owls, kites, falcons, hawks and eagles have hooks beaks with the upper part protruding over the lower part, allowing them to tear up their meals. In fact, according to one study, these birds are the only ones whose beaks do not depend on adaptions to feeding habits, but on their size. The shape of their bills is not very varied among the different species within this group. Of the raptors, which in this case includes the scavenging birds, the pygmy falcon is the smallest raptor on the African continent. As a small falcon, only 19 to 20 centimeters long, it weighs just 60 grams and it preys on insects, small reptiles and small mammals. On the other hand, the lappet-faced vulture is the Kruger's Park's largest raptor which weighs up to 7.9 kilograms and has a wingspan of 2.8 meters. That's long. Thanks for watching. Do enjoy your birding this week. Bye.